So Infinity War is coming out in less than a week for many people around the world. However, some of you may want to watch the climactic first part to the two part finale named Infinity War without watching the other 18 films or so. But that may be a problem because you might not understand what's going on in the franchise. But fear not because I will be informing you on everything you need to know. The first film named Iron Man 1 set up the universe. Tony Stark, a billionaire businessman who inherited his weapon company from his father, gets kidnapped by terrorists and to stop himself from dying, builds an energy source in his chest and makes a suit to escape named Iron Man Mark I. After stopping his evil mentor, he announces to the world that he is, in fact, I am Iron Man. The Incredible Hulk. After a freak accident with a super soldier serum, a scientist becomes the Incredible Hulk. In Iron Man 2, Tony's friend General Rhodes, or Rhodey, gets one of Tony's suits and they team up to fight Whiplash. Iron Man meets a man named Nick Fury, who is the leader of a secret agent service called S.H.I.E.L.D. and Black Widow, who works for them. You also get some backstory for Tony's dad, and you learn they didn't have a great relationship. Thor introduces us to other planets, one of them being Asgard, home of Thor, God of Thunder. We also meet his brother Loki and his father Odin. Loki is jealous that Thor will one day become king of Asgard and tries to kill him, but he fails and gets sucked into a vortex. But he doesn't die, he gets sent to Earth. In Captain America, the first Avenger, we learn the origin of the super soldier serum, the thing that turned Bruce Banner into the Hulk. It's used on a skinny young man in World War II called Steve Rogers that turns him into Captain America. He fights some Nazis with his pal Bucky Barnes and tries to stop a man named the Red Skull, who is the leader of Hydra, a group of Nazis, from using a powerful energy called the Tesseract. Bucky falls off a train and supposedly dies, and Captain America, after stopping the Red Skull and the Tesseract, gets frozen in ice and wakes up in the future world. The final film in Phase 1 is Avengers Assemble. Nick Fury from Iron Man 2, leader of S.H.I.E.L.D., realises there's a threat to the world. Loki, the guy that fell into the portal, plans to use the Tesseract from Captain America 1 to bring an army of aliens down upon the world so he can rule. Therefore, Nick Fury assembles a group of superheroes to stop him. Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Black Widow from Iron Man 2, and an archer named Hawkeye. Together they become the Avengers and stop Loki and the Tesseract and save New York from destruction. Thor takes Loki back to Asgard with the Tesseract and locks it in a vault on his planet, never to be seen again. At the end, it is revealed that the alien army that Loki used belongs to a man named Thanos. So recap, Iron Man and Hulk are created, S.H.I.E.L.D. contacts Iron Man to try and study if he's fit to be on their team, Thor battles Loki who escapes to Earth, Captain America is created who loses his friend Bucky and defeats the Red Skull and Hydra from using the Tesseract and then gets sent to the future. Then, the six heroes stop Loki again from using the Tesseract to send Thanos' army down to Earth. You got that? Hopefully you did, because tomorrow I'll be recapping again and explaining Phase 2.